Hi there, I'm Mary. Today we're making DIY Chia Pets. Hopefully by now you've come down to the main library information desk and picked up a kit. If not, come on down, we probably still have a few left. In that kit, you're gonna find almost everything you need. Okay, you have a cup, some seeds, a nylon, some soil, and some pipe cleaners and construction paper to decorate with. You'll use those at the end. Now, other things you'll need to find at home, water, of course, a cup or two, and probably a spoon to mix with. Go ahead and get all that together and we'll get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your chia seeds and put them in a, a cup or bowl and add about a quarter cup, maybe less of water to it and let them soak overnight and they're gonna turn into a nice gel. I'm just gonna kind of eye it. It's really just about enough water so that it covers the seeds. So that should be about enough water. So that's probably less than a quarter cup, probably more like an eighth of a cup. But do your best, guess, and then let them soak overnight. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your nylon. And if you have someone to help you, that's great. You won't need to do this part, but you can also take your nylon if you're by yourself or just if you'd rather do it this way and stretch your nylon over a cup so that it stays in place and that'll make it easier to pour the soil in. And then you'll take your soil and it's about two cups worth. You can use the whole bag or less of the bag, however you want to do it. And you're just going to pour it in and you're going to make a mess. That's okay. Pour, press. Pour. And press. You're going to probably hit a point where you filled the cup and at that point it's probably going to be easier to try to take your nylon off now one thing i figured out that you can do because we put your soil in a bag like this you can kind of feed your bag into the top of the nylon and then just put the rest of the soil in like that Kind of like that. Okay. And then when you take your nylon out, you're going to see it's kind of in a lump. To work it down, just kind of give it a squeeze. Another thing that works is just kind of compressing it like that, compressing it, squishing it, jostling it, just get it down in there. And once, once you've got it how you want it all the way down, nice and compact. Go ahead and tie. Go ahead and tie a knot so the soil doesn't fall back out. And then you can go ahead and just form it into a ball or whatever kind of shape you want to make. There you go. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to trim your nylon to about four inches because that's all you're going to need for the wick. 
and you can throw the rest away. Next up, you're gonna soak your nylon ball until it's well saturated. So just take a bowl of water or run it under a faucet and just put it in there, get it nice and wet. This will make it easier for the seeds to both stick and to start growing. And once it's saturated enough, you're gonna take your other cup that we provided and go ahead and fill it up a little bit, about halfway. Be careful not to knock it over. And then you're gonna take your soil ball and just plop it in there. And as you see, the tail of the nylon is actually gonna soak up water and it's going to keep your chia head watered. Next up, you're gonna take your chia seeds, which have been soaking, and then you're just going to take your seeds and just spread them on and they'll stay in place. Might lose some, but that's okay. And just give it whatever hair shape you'd like. They might be a little hard to control, but do your best. Another thing that you can do as your seeds grow in, if you end up with some bald spots because some of the seeds didn't germinate properly or haven't wanted to grow for whatever reason, you can spread a little bit more of your chia paste over those spots and see if it fills in the bald spots. And once you've finished adding all the seeds that you want, just take your cup, put it in a sunny window, and wait for it to grow. And just a reminder, the nylon tail will act as a self-watering device, but you may have to give it a little bit of a water or spray every once in a while if the top gets too dry. Once the seeds have grown in enough for you, you can go ahead and decorate your pet. Make whatever you want. We made ours look like a little bit of an alien. Now I would recommend waiting until you're done growing your seeds to decorate it. Otherwise the water might make things fall off or get things wet. Uh, but it's up to you. You can decorate it before if you want and see how things go. I hope you enjoyed that. We've got a lot more fun stuff coming up this summer, like cross-stitching retro video game characters, making pet toys, and nail art. See you later. Bye.